It is technology that truly took off. So fast, regulations just couldn't keep up. But today, aviation officials tighten their grip. Owners must now register drones, read about their use and pass an online test. Many experts think it's about time. It will actually mean that they might actually be able to keep their drone uh, as opposed to buy one out of the box, crash it the same day and then that's it, it's done. That compulsory registration of all drones 250 grams and above costs £9 each. Also users and owners face a new online safety test with fines up to £1,000 for failure to comply. Now, these things are high on festive wish lists, but the new rules could lead to a tricky Christmas morning scenario with children unable to fly one until they've taken an exam. And model aircraft are also covered, but many sold as toys, along with small drones, fall below that weight threshold, so are exempt. We're expecting really good sales with drones. And when we're comfortable and confident that the new regulations won't affect our sales on that point. When drones disrupted a thousand Gatwick flights in December, regulation became inevitable. And along with concern about illicit supplies to prisons, there's also been worry about basic pilot competence. <laughs> but crucially, this professional has doubts about how the new rules can be policed. A lot of people just go and purchase these drones off the shelf um, with no idea about laws. It's so. all right having all these new rules for drones, but can they actually be enforced? Who's going to be watching? This is it. We, nobody knows yet. Nobody knows. Those affected have only till the end of the month to comply with the drone rules, and it's inevitable these won't be the last. Chris Choi, ITV News.